welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Amy Jean, and today I'm going to be giving you a review of the Dyson V7, I believe it is. It's the Dyson Stick Vacuum. It looks like this. I've had this vacuum for several years now. You can see it's been pretty beat up. And honestly, I've hated it since the day we got it. So I will take you through what I don't like about it and what I do like about it, if I can think of anything, <laughs> and why you shouldn't buy one. And maybe what to look for when you're buying a different vacuum. So the first thing I want to talk about is the battery life. <coughs> we bought this um, refurbished, so our battery life was ridiculously low. It wouldn't go more than like 10 minutes without dying. Um, but we did end up, that ba that battery ended up, stop it. that battery ended up uh, just quitting on us. So we ordered a new one. It's like an off-brand one. Um, and since then, it's been much better. So that complaint was taken care of. Um, the next thing is just the capacity of it isn't very big. So if you are a pretty neat person and are just needing it to clean up some dust, if your carpets just get dusty and so you need to clean them, then yeah, I think this would be a great vacuum. But if you have children and your house like gets messy, I would suggest a different vacuum. So I'm gonna bring this into my room here. This floor hasn't been vacuumed in a while. So we're just gonna, the uh, um, canister's empty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum around in here and just show you um, what it can do. As you can see, it doesn't really get the edges well. Like, see. It doesn't really pick up, like, the things in, right on the edge. There is a, you know, a little attachment that comes with it that does get those edges better, but it's a pain to have to change. And I feel like my old vacuum um, had, like, an edge thing where it... It just got the edges without having to change the head of it. Only uh, my room has carpet in the main floor of our house and then upstairs my children's room have carpet. So uh, I did just vacuum in there yesterday but I bet they won't let me down with how messy it is. So we're gonna go up there and I'll show you like my main like complaint about this vacuum. All right, so ignore the fact that the carpet is stained beyond all reason because nothing I can do about that. But you can see my kids leave debris all over the place. That is not a cigarette butt, that's a Lego. <laughs> so all this debris you know, these little chunks of paper and stuff. And I don't want to have to go around and pick up all of these little pieces of paper, but I have to, and I will show you why. as you can see it doesn't like to pick up the pieces of paper and then if it does let me bring it over here I'll show you there are several places where it will get clogged eventually see that paper just fell back all right so right here let's see if you can see this is where it sucks up into the machine and all of these pieces will just get stuck in there and create a clog 
that you have to go and get out. And it's not easy to get out. There's like a, you see here there's a lip and then it gets stuck in there. Like I can't get in there. There's no way to like, unless I take this whole guard off, which involves removing the screw. Okay, so it's not that difficult. But I don't want to have to do that every five minutes while I'm vacuuming. Let's see. Where it attaches to the stick, in here, will get clogged up with stuff sometimes. Not this time. And then when everything goes into here, it tends to get... See, this was empty when I started. It tends to get like all kind of clogged up on this side, which I mean, as you can see, my carpets are dirty. So <laughs> it does suck up a lot, but I have, I would rather have something different. I'd rather have something that can handle sucking up large pieces and that is easier. It doesn't get clogged up so easy. So yeah, those are my complaints with this vacuum. Okay, so I just used a penny to unlock this and take it off. And then you can see in here, um, so it doesn't really help get to this spot though, which is where you need to get to. See in here where all this stuff is stuck. I mean, I can see it better now that that's open, but I can't get to it any easier. There's still this lip here. So, man, that is really full of stuff. I've never taken that off before. Please hold. Grass outside! Can we get outside? No, I need to read the grass side. Should I stop arguing with me? Okay, I know you're probably thinking like that's a lot of stuff to be stuck in there and maybe if I'd clean that out then the vacuum would have worked better. Except, should I have to clean out this weird crevice in my vacuum because everything gets stuck there? I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe all vacuums are like that and I would have to clean it out eventually. But I want a vacuum that doesn't need to be cleaned out in all these weird ways all the time. Everything is constantly getting stuck in here, constantly getting stuck in the other part. I want a new vacuum, but I'm not willing to pay for one. So I'm just gonna live with this one for now. Oh, and then also another really annoying thing is that every once in a while, this bottom part just falls open and um, spills its contents everywhere. So that's also great. So that's my review of the Dyson V7 vacuum. It does suck up a lot of dust, a lot of hair, and you know, if you have pets, if you um, have a lot of dust, like it is great for sucking that stuff up. But if you have little kids who just shed debris, like some kind of weird garbage monsters who just leave little pieces of stuff wherever they walk, then I don't think this vacuum's for you. So that's just my opinion. And I hope if you like this kind of video where I review different things, then you give this 
a thumbs up and subscribe to get more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.